I'm Sean Berry uh, from the Green Party. I think the government's policy of building more coal-fired power stations is utterly wrong-headed. Uh, it's absolutely, there's no good saying uh, we're carbon capture ready when you're not going to capture any of the carbon for about 20 years. Um, it's highly irresponsible. We need to be cutting energy use, making energy savings everywhere we can. Everyone in the country needs insulation. Everyone needs to be driving cleaner cars and using cleaner forms of transport before we build a single new coal-fired power station and then only with actual carbon capture happening right there. The hypocrisy of um, putting in really carbon intensive things like new runways and new coal fired power stations while at the same time going to international conferences and telling other countries they need to make cuts is absolutely astounding. And it's not just damaging um, our reputation abroad. The government, by putting in these huge new carbon, carbon emitters, are also damaging the image of uh, carbon savings here at home. If, if the government's putting in uh, a new coal power, coal fired power station and then hassling us about doing recycling or telling us to get out of our cars. How are we supposed to react? It's just hypocrisy all around and it's very, very bad. Ordinary people on the street are really, really keen to get going on green issues and the other parties have recognised that and started to talk about it quite a lot. Unfortunately, they're not taking the sort of action we need to make it easier and cheaper to be green and that's the kind of policies the Greens are backing. Very common sense things like giving people free insulation, improving public transport and making life, making it's easier for people and not just nagging people to be green as the government likes to do. The Green Party considers the climate bill as it currently stands to be completely inadequate. We do need to make cuts in our carbon emissions by 80 to 90% by 2050, not 60% as the climate bill says. And if it doesn't include aviation and shipping, then it basically isn't doing its job. We're responsible for many more carbon emissions than the government's currently uh, owning up to. I'm totally against the expansion of Heathrow and every other airport in the country. There's no point in uh, saying, oh, I'm telling everybody, oh, we need to make cuts in our carbon and then building more runways. Aviation is the fastest growing source of carbon emissions and it will only stay that way if we keep building more runways. They're forcing airports to compete against each other. We've got regional airports all over the UK saying, we'd better build a runway or this airport will build a runway. No, I think the government should put a moratorium on all airport expansion for the time being um, and we should be cutting back on our flights, quite frankly. I mean, I, I believe that um, by making London greener, um, we can influence national policy and therefore we can influence international policy as well. I mean, in London, um, I'm all for creating an ethical purchasing policy for the GLA. We've got a £12 billion budget and that will make a difference, but um, obviously it's only a drop in the ocean as far as uh, world matters go. But London, everyone looks at London and I think if we can make our city a green leader, make it a shining example of how to run a green city, other places around the world will follow us and will eventually see environmental justice justice for the whole world. I, I don't believe um, buying carbon credits from other countries is the solution. Uh, we're the ones who've caused the problem. I think the UK, even though it's only about 2% of world emissions now, we're only 1% of the, of the population. And historically, I believe we're responsible for around about 12% of emissions that have ever gone into the air. We have a large role to play and we have to set an example by making cuts. Paying other people to make cuts when they've already got very, very low carbon emissions is no substitute for making the cuts in our own waste and our own carbon emissions that we should be doing here at home. The role of uh, businesses in uh, the problems of climate change is pretty clear. Um, it's been obviously the industrial revolution and our reliance on vehicles and the fact that uh, we're sold many, many, many things that we don't need that have to be transported around the world. All these things are uh, contributing hugely towards climate change. So that problem is pretty clear. I think business does have a role in uh, dealing with climate change. There's a lot businesses could do. Um, for example, car manufacturers could make much cleaner cars, um, which they're failing to do because at the moment the regulations are very, very weak due to their lobbying. So I think there's a role for businesses to do more, but they do need to be pushed into it by better regulation and by politicians as well. It's so important that campaigners keep up the pressure on politicians and I'd absolutely like to congratulate WDM on its uh, stalwart campaigning on uh, climate change and uh, international justice issues over the years and keep up the good work because it's so important.